Thank you so much guys for joining another video of Truf Talks. So as you know, this is my Inspiron 15 5505 Ryzen 7 Dell laptop. And today I thought I'll do something special. I'll show you guys the actual performance of this machine and how it stacks up against the competition. So this is the Nova Bench test and it calculates all uh, the CPU results, the GPU performance, the works. So in front of you, I will start a test which uh, will calculate uh, the CPU performance as I said, the graphics performance. And after the test is finished, I will also be uh, showing you the benchmark of where it stands what the average scores are and generally where it stands because uh, when buying a laptop especially if you're looking for performance and someone who's buying a Ryzen 7 uh, laptop they are looking for performance too even if you don't need the laptop for gaming purposes you still need performance so this is a great test as you can see this is running the RAM test the 3D graphics test and right now this is checking the graphics uh, card the performance and now let me just tell you this laptop does not have a dedicated graphics card it has uh, just an integrated card so the performance might is not up to par with the graphics because I don't uh, do gaming so I really did not need uh, such performance a good score is always better to have so, as you can see, this laptop scores very highly on the Nova Bench scores. The, the score is 1567 with a CPU uh, score of 996, RAM score of 181, GPU score of 251, and a disk score of 139. Uh, now, in isolation, this would not give you a lot of perspective. So let me show you. So keeping in mind uh, that the score is 1567 uh, from a Ryzen 7 laptop and mind you this laptop I bought it for just 747 Canadian dollars which is very very reasonable. So if, if we go to Noah Bench results database so our score was 1567. Now these are showing the top scores and the top ever score recorded was 7585 that was the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X 32 core laptop um, so obviously this can't compete with that and the price range that's way way more expensive but if we just see the CPU scores just, just have a look average CPU score is 628 628 and we scored uh, on the CPU just the CPU score uh, we scored very highly which was 996 so our CPU score was 996 the average is 628 and say we were to see where it compares um, with the CPU score and also I believe uh this yeah that's just a cpu score i was just checking if that's the overall score or not so with a 996 score we are at par with with an intel core i7 980 which is a great performance and mind you this this is a very reasonable or a lower priced laptop so this is a very good score considering all the facts and now let's check the GPU score itself and now GPU was not the was is not the highlight of this laptop but it's 251 and the average score was 319 so it, it's 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 way below the average but mind you this is not uh, a dedicated graphic card it's an integrated one so it's still pretty good uh, let's see what this compares with um, this compares with an NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M an integrated graphics card so in my, in my book that's a pretty good score won't you say um, and uh, what else do we have here 
we have a disk score of 139 so as you can see this this laptop is pretty good for what it is this is a pretty good score and this is uh, the score with this is what it says it's AMD Radeon graphics 8 GB RAM uh, and these are the specifics of this laptop now guys this was the performance of my laptop and I also have something very exciting to share with you guys I have recently gotten access to an Apple MacBook Pro i9 with 64 GB RAM imagine 64 GB RAM i9 processor uh, so if you guys would like me to share the Nova Bench score of that laptop please comment down below and I will get it done for you guys and and also if this video gets 200 likes I'll do it regardless so uh, thanks for watching everyone this was the performance of my laptop and uh, I'll see you soon in the next video